This one's going to be a bit personal, as it's a lesson I have to teach myself. Stop worrying about your numbers. I feel like in recent times, specifically through the internet, creativity is focused on only for the number value, possibilities, and careers. Creative expression and artistic satisfaction is completely disregarded. You care less about what you make and more about how it does. I have this exact problem and always will. Whether it be a comedic statement, a video essay, or music, my first worry is always performance, numbers, averages. How will this do? Now obviously, worrying about performance is a totally normal thing to do, but with content, with your creative mindset, it should never be the first thing you think of. And I've struggled with this for a while. My career, my platform, has not moved in a while. It's been at a standstill. And if you look at statistics, it's a slow but sure down arrow over time. I've been making content for seven years. I wish for this to be my livelihood at one point, but how it's looking, this isn't really possible anymore. Here's the thing. A few months back, I switched my content style. I decided to take longer to do everything I make so I like it more. And as a result, I have much more fun making it all. And I feel satisfied in a way where I can say, I made this and I like it. That mindset should be, and is the most important thing from the beginning. What you create, whether a Twitter artist, Instagram editor, YouTuber, or musician, how you feel about your skill and ability to express yourself should be your number one worry. It should never be the numbers or the community. Creativity to me is the most beautiful thing on the planet. From being a young kid, I was surrounded by music, various cultures, movies being shot on the beach, I'm from Miami Beach, Florida. Rich with culture, stardom, and art from the moment I was able to walk, man. I wrote stories since the age of four. Hell, I even drew till I was 10. I was pretty good at it too. I started making videos when I was eight, then started making music when I was 14. I've defined myself and met everyone I know because of creation and art. The ability to use your imagination and talents to do anything is the most important thing to me. But that cannot be shoved away if your main focus, worry, and sadness is over how something performs or making it out of the streets. Sometimes, what you pursue and love to do can't be what you do for the rest of your life. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. You make some changes, but it may not happen. And that's okay. The reason for beauty and what you look at is for you. If you have fun with something and it defines a part of you, you won. On YouTube, making videos, you could play games, do funny moments of friends, discuss a topic, make inventions, whatever. I can go on for longer than a married woman's grocery list. If you're happy with it, if you like it, just a few others say they loved it, that's okay. You don't have to have a million followers to look at something and go, hey, I made this, I like this, I'm really proud of it, and get a thumbs up from your best friend. Because that in itself is astonishing and beautiful. I know what some may be thinking. So what? I want to get big. I want to be popular. I want to make a gazillion dollars on my rap album. And yeah, I get it. No, I really do. When you spend most of your time creating and your own hard-earned money to do so, you want to earn shit in return. You wish to earn something in return and people to respect you. You want to meet others, achieve your goals and your idols. But that right there is number two. That is dulce. If you're stressing too much about not achieving what you want, your product, your art is going to suffer from it. It has to come from the heart. And if your heart isn't in it, what you imagine suffers. No matter what, if you had 10 subscribers, 10 million, 5 digit streams on Spotify, or 55, you have to keep the same mindset. A lot of the time, people are attracted and come to you because of your personality, not your personality, the quality of their product, or they feel like they relate to you, you're a comfort to them. A stereotype, but also a proven fact, is the only way to succeed in life when it comes to the internet slash mainstream is fitting to a topic, trend, or agenda, and music, catchy hooks, certain melodies, make something that gets stuck in their heads easily while easy to produce, or make a trend on YouTube, challenges, Minecraft speedruns, make 100 videos on whatever game is hot right now, or drama. Which, yes, this is true. There are a lot of people who are huge and who are absolutely talentless that don't care about what they create at all, but they are undoubtedly extremely successful. So you can either ditch being fulfilled, satisfied, and happy with yourself, and be really big, or be able to say what you make out loud without feeling embarrassed think about it. Art is important to me. If I'm not happy with what I'm doing, I'm probably going to stop doing it and make changes. There's other ways you can pursue this. Sometimes you won't make it off freelance art. You got to sign up for auditions and attempt to make it big. Maybe donate paintings to shops. Who knows? Musicians could be fleshed down to working under others and providing tips or content for other forms of media. Anything could happen. Sometimes that sole career, that stardom, and that celebrity status just isn't achievable. I know how this feeling has been for years. Numbers aren't everything, and I have to learn that and I've been trying my best to. Business majors may go home and hit the booth singing an RB classic. Keep your imagination alive. Keep your artistry, and don't let it go to waste. Because creativity is the biggest blessing humans can have. A stick figure to Mona Lisa, DJ Khaled to Marvin Kaye, someone like me to Mr. Beast. Your size doesn't define you, it's how you do it. So if you're a creator, keep in mind you are valid and amazing. 
Numbers aren't a validation. A small community is superior to billboard. Your primary focus should always be you. You are you. And tearing yourself down over virtual performance won't change a thing. Stay motivated, stay yourself, and sing, paint, and record your heart out. So hard.